the internet was my version of a nightclub of meeting women. For him to have a bond with another woman is devastating. I'm an officer in the U.S. military and you know they're supposed to be held at a high standard yet things that I've done to her make me feel ashamed of myself. Just the burn for me, thank you. As for crying right now, I don't want to do that. This test is about to begin. I've done too much of that already. Out on the floor and just answer me with a yes or a no, please. I'm a forensic psychophysiologist. Psycho meaning mind, physiology meaning body. I study how does your mind affect your body. I'm an independent seeker of the truth. Your lie will affect you. Your lie will affect those you love. You can't run from the truth. I'm Ken Donaldson, the lie detective. Your dad and I need to get to the office in about 10 minutes, okay? Okay. So I need you to come off the computer and right. uh, babysit the kids and your dog, okay? All right. All right, so 10 minutes. I was a single mother before I met him with two children, and Stephen and I have one child together, which means I have three. I feel like a loser when people ask me, where, where did you meet Steven? Steven and I met on a dating site online and he wasn't really my type, but when we met in person, it just seemed right. We just sort of hit it off. But we've had problems, we've had you know arguments where he said things that made me think that he was cheating or he had cheated. When there's infidelity in a relationship, it's very hard for people to start to trust again. What we have to do is we have to talk to this couple and let's let them set the parameters for this test. Tell me why you're here. I'm here to verify that I'm no longer being unfaithful to my wife. Okay, so that statement leads me to believe that there's something going on in the past. Yes. I was on the internet philandering and being on the phone with women before we got married. Prior to your wedding? Yes. Okay. And but there was things that happened after we got married, as he called them little white lies, mm -hmm. that made me doubt that he changed. When we got married in Las Vegas, he didn't move to Canada until October, so it was basically a long distance relationship mm -hmm. over the phone. Right. And there were a lot of um, things that happened to make me suspicious of him, like turning his phone off and accusing me of being paranoid and being insecure. Tell yeah, me he, a little bit of your history. Uh, how did you guys meet prior to that? Um, did you spend a lot of time together before you got married? I met her on the internet and we did a lot of talking on the phone. You know, we spent time together. Right. I frequently flew up here or she came down with me after I was demobilizing from Iraq. And then finally, you know, within six months of marriage, I moved up here. Corin, you're Canadian? Yeah. And Stephen, you're with the uh, American Forces? Yes, as a reserve captain, that's correct. Reserve, so how often do you report? Once a month. And starting the 1st of August for a tour of over a year. You're going on a tour? Afghanistan. You worried about him, Corey? I'm worried about safety issues, naturally, but there's also a part of me that wonders if he's still going to mess around online. Basically, um, in Iraq, they had a tent with air conditioning. Right. Guys are just typing away, some with webcams. And when I wasn't typing up reports, I immediately go to the, to the internet and use the chat room or use the telephone. And there were a lot of women that would send him care packages and- What kinds he of would things? Just junk, like cards and magazines and sending pictures of themselves you know, half naked and also pretending to support the troops. And, right. Uh, the care packages and things stopped, of course, after I came back to the States. And 
a lot of those packages were for the most part not of magazines because we could buy those on our in our base. Yeah, but I saw an email where one girl said that she sent them a bunch of men's magazines. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I don't know why he's saying that. And plus two, um, he had different files on his computer, and each file had a name of different women. Right. And when you open it, there was another subfolder that would say, you know emails to so-and-so and then another one saying you know sent emails to so-and-so and then another one you know with pictures of so-and-so and, and this is a time before you met Corin that you had imported or put these files on your computer it wasn't after you met her and decided to start dating her that you were continuing to compile these files i pretty much cut back on talking to those women but i i did have some of them on my laptop prior to just coming back to the U.S. to demobilize. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when I knew things were more serious, but it, but she's right, I should have gotten rid of that stuff to begin with and not trying to court her and then also on the side trying to maintain um, these this emotional cheating friendships with these women. He's been doing some things to change his behaviors, but he's not admitting that he's an internet addict quite yet. The internet did affect my first marriage because I was talking to women which I shouldn't have been and the, because of the problems that I fostered ended up causing a divorce, I think in part because of the internet. Some stuff is embarrassing, like admitting that I stayed up into the wee hours, reading old emails from other women and looking at pictures, that kind of stuff, comparing myself. That's. That's embarrassing, but uh, that's what I did, so. Corin, obviously, it's extremely emotional for you to be. Mm -hmm. It is difficult, like, just to put everything into words. We went to visit his mom in California, and she asked me to clear out the spam from her inbox. And as I was clearing it out, I found some pictures there of different women, which he claimed his sister had friends that sent scantily clad photos of themselves. But who does that? Like, women don't send their female friends pictures, you know, like that. So I didn't believe that for one minute, you know? Okay. So, Stephen, since you've been on the internet, how many women have you contacted via email, instant messenger? Anything Dozens. Like that. I had a friends list. I mean, I've di I've had a few girlfriends from the internet, a, a few dates or a few sexual escapades. I have done that over the course of years. Yes, you know, and the internet was my version of a nightclub of meeting women. Obviously, you met Corin and you fell for it. So. What happened after that? Did you continue with these other relationships online because they're just online, so, you know, it's something to do? I was mostly cheating on her by still keeping friendships with these women that I, know, I knew I was never going to meet, or I talked to them about her, if, you know, which was bad. If, we had, if I had a little argument with her, I was bouncing ideas off of them, which I thought was wrong now. And I basically, after that, just I still kept in contact, but I didn't email as much and they would be seeking me more out, like, how are you doing with her? And, you know, if we had an argument in Iraq and we weren't getting along, then yes, I may put my membership back active again and start fishing some more. And then if we got back together, then I would block myself and not be made available for being selected. I would stop trying to fish for new potential dates. I know for a fact he lied to me about having to do some training in two different states. He told me that it was mandatory that he was ordered to go to Fort Bragg, North Carolina yeah. for two months to do civil affairs school. And one of the other guys told me that it wasn't mandatory. And another time he did a few weeks training in Arkansas and he also said that it was mandatory. There was no way out of it. You know, he couldn't say no. You know, he was ordered to go there. And I chose to take civil affairs as soon as possible to get it out of the way so that I, once I moved to Canada, I wouldn't have to worry about taking the branch transfer course. You told that to Corin? 
Yes, that's what I told her. I told her I wanted to get it done as soon as possible. You told me it was mandatory. I said it was a man. You were ordered to that you have to do it that time. You couldn't move to Canada because you had to do civil affairs. Well, then I must that's have been untruthful because I, what I want to do is to get that out of the way as soon as possible. He turned off his phone for two days straight in Fort Bragg. He got two different cell phones. I told him, you know, you don't need another cell phone, and he kept giving excuses like, oh, well, you're pregnant, so what if something happens? I need two cell phones in case one, one doesn't work, then I'll have the other one as a backup. And it didn't matter what I said. He just went out, got the second cell phone, and then when the two days of turning it off came along, he said that he was on a two-day march in the field, but I don't know what he was doing. You know, he could have been with another woman, and I don't know if he had two days off and, you know, pretending that he had to be camping in a field or marching or whatever. And I was dumb in turning the phone off. Sometimes she would suspect that when the phone was off that I was messing around with someone or being on the Internet. But you told me when I met you, you said, I cheated on a girlfriend in the past. And I said, how did she find out? And you said, I, she didn't find out. I would just tell her that I had to do something, I had to go for training, and I would turn my phone off because I told her that I wouldn't be able to get any reception anyways. He said he doesn't talk to his ex-girlfriend anymore, the one that he told me that he has sex with whenever he wants. All he has to do is call her, and she's okay with it. Are we going to run a test on sexual infidelity or on internet uh, access or talking to women on the internet or what's your concern sexual because i don't want to if he's messing around with other women i don't want to catch anything right so you want to know has he had sexual contact with, with anybody other than you yeah and from what date online or offline from um day you got married day you made a commitment i think it was the fourth of july since, 2005 no, no. can i finish he's asking me okay since july 2005 that's the date you want in here? Yeah. Where's, yeah. Where were you then? July 5th, I was with her in where, Las no, Vegas. No, whereabouts were you? We were Lo both location. In, oh. We were both in Las, Las Vegas. Las Vegas. I was on my oh. two weeks of leave. So you missed July 4th? Actually, 4th, she flew in. We, we, we saw yeah. the fireworks. So let's go July 4th. What was your ex-girlfriend's name? Catherine. Okay. So... I want to ask you, have you had sexual contact with anybody other than Corin since July 4th, 2005? That would apply to anybody. That, so would, would apply to anybody, would apply to times when he said he's away being deployed, yeah. would apply to times when he's at training, would apply to times phone on, phone off. Also, I'm going to ask you, did you lie about sexual contact with your old girlfriend, Catherine, since July 4th, 2005? Easy. Are those questions good, Corn, or is there something we're missing? Would would you no, rather they're... have something other than, than one of those? I mean, we can take one of these questions out and put something else from this list in, but it has to have it has to deal with sexual infidelity. No, those are pretty direct. I thought Ken must be an ex police officer or something to do with the law, that's for sure. He didn't mess around or dwell on too many incidents that occurred. Like, he covered everything. Like, even stuff that I never even considered. Is it gonna stay, or should I tighten it one more? Um, it's up to you, I, it's, it's not uncomfortable. I'm used to body armor, so this is actually pretty comfortable. There's a reason there's some distrust here. There's a reason that it's come to this. It's come to a polygraph exam to find out what's going on in this relationship. And really the question is, did you go back and have sex with her after you made that commitment or started that committed relationship with Corin? I'm feeling kind of scared, a little bit nervous, like I'm having an anxiety attack. I'm kind of feeling sad too. What if he fails? Regarding your sexual activity, do you intend to answer truthfully each question about that? Yes. When I look at Stephen in the eyes, you know, I often wonder if he's sincere or if it's just an act because I know he said certain things to other women too. So it causes a lot of doubts. And I don't know. I just don't look at him in a way that I'm supposed to, you know, with trust. Have you had sexual contact with anyone other than Corin since July 4th, 2005? 
now. Did you lie about sexual contact with your old girlfriend Catherine since July 4th, 2005? No. I want to believe him. I want to trust him that he didn't cheat on me. I hope that what he's saying right now is true. Right, that concludes that chart. Just relax. <clears throat> I'm almost afraid that by taking a gulp or trying to to get my throat moist, that that would skew your findings. Mm. I mark things like that. Good. Also, um, I'm staring at that one piece of stucco on the wall straight ahead, and I'm wondering if that's the wrong thing to do. No. No. Oh. You can stare at it. <clears throat> so when I asked you, other than what you told me prior to 2005, did you ever violate the trust of someone who loved you? I said yes. Right before you, it was no. Because you told me some things and I said, okay, so... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, the, um, prior to 2005... Yeah, other than I, what you told me. Oh, no, no, there was... Okay, well, that's no. fine. So you ready? We'll run another chart. So, it's going to be the exact same question, same order, no surprises, okay? Okay. Feels like there's knots in my stomach. I don't want to watch, but, but I have to. You know what I mean? It's really hard to explain. Plus, I'm wondering if he knows that I'm standing here watching him, too. Steven, this test is about to begin. It's going to ask that you remain as still as you can. Answer me with a yes or a no, please. Are you completely convinced that I will not ask you a question on this test that I have not already reviewed? Yes. Other than what you told me about prior to 2005, did you ever violate the trust of someone who loved you? Yes. Did you lie about sexual contact with your old girlfriend, Catherine, since July 4th, 2005? No. That concludes this test. Just relax. I'll come take that apparatus off you. Thank you. All right, the same thing. I'll take it on this side. Thanks. Feel free to stand up and stretch. Okay. <laughs> You did four tests, not three. Oh, four. Tired. Four. I, I, I kept my eyes closed because looking at the speckle, the spackle on the wall was tiring. So now, what happens? What did he say? He just needs a few minutes to go over his charts. Basically, he's doing. He's got all the raw data, and he's just going to call us in when he's ready. The results are I that know. I told the truth, especially if he ran it a fourth time. He did a fourth iteration. <laughs> They're not overly consistent, but this is only the first chart, so one reaction on one chart isn't going to make or break the test. Let's look at the whole chart and let's make a global analysis after we see all the data. I'm just thinking positive. No time for self-doubt. Got to think positive. There was a lot of issues this couple needed to talk about, so I had to ask them, what's the most important thing that I can help them find out that they can move on with their relationship? And the answer was sexual fidelity. Has Steve had sexual contact with anybody other than his wife since the day that they made a commitment to each other? I just have to tell you guys that, you know, the internet and chat rooms and internet pornography sites that are designed for people to meet and hook up, they're poison to a marriage. You're spending your time 
typing to somebody you don't even know instead of spending time talking to your wife. You know, understand that, that Corinne had some real concerns. There were some holes in your stories. Times when you were turning off your phone. Now, I can't tell you what was going on when his phone is off. I can tell you since July 4th, 2005, he hasn't had sexual contact with anybody, physical sexual contact with anybody. Okay, so at least you know that much. May not solve all of the issues in your household, but at least you got a place to start. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Finally. It's important to know that physically he's he's been faithful to you. Now just take this take this and and work forward, you guys. This is like basically two and a half years of pain that I've finally been able to resolve. I'm going to change by being honest and by not playing games and by not lying, telling the truth. Grab her diaper bag because that's her shoes. Steven's been gone for about two weeks now, training in a military base in the U.S. and then he's going to be in Afghanistan for a year. I trust Steven more than I did before, but not fully and completely yet. Did Steven tell you when he's gonna give us a gift next week? Yeah, he's mailing a gift. What is it? He didn't meet anybody in person from the internet, but it didn't necessarily mean that he wasn't chatting with women and intending to meet them. So. That still kind of bothers me, but when he does go to Afghanistan, I'm not going to tell him if there's any insecurities because of the online stuff or get suspicious because it's just a waste of time and energy. And ever since the test, the lie detector test, it kind of reassured me that I can trust him anyway, so I don't have to think in a negative way about him when it comes to trust. Hey, Alexander, yep. if you don't mind, your dad and I just want to talk to you upstairs for a minute, okay? Okay. Okay, I'll see you up there. All right. Your mom and I just had a client, and his issue was that he was spending too much time on his computer instead of with his family. Okay. And it just wasn't healthy for his relationship. I know you like to be on the computer and spend time there, so we just wanted to talk to you about that. Do you have relationships with people online that you've never met before? No. Like you're not talking to people that you've never well, met. Well, he does from play other games. Places. He he joins I up games. I play video games, but I don't stumble on bad websites. Yeah. It's more or less balance. A little bit of computer, a little bit of family time, a little bit of dog time. Healthy. Too much of one thing, unhealthy. So just try to be conscious of your time on the computer and your time with us and the dog. Okay. 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 Uh, good morning, ITR. It is Ken. Sure, can you just sort of tell me without any details um, the issue you need help with? 